Hello everyone, this is Young Link Jr. So you have Florida, Orlando, Florida high school teacher from Dr. Phillips High School named Jeffrey Keene. He's been fired due to handing out or instructing his students to write their obituaries. It was an inappropriate assignment according to the educational system in Florida. Now, his whole purpose of the assignment was, and because it was just after shooters going on and based on knowing our environment and you know the state of america and educational facilities he wants them to actually understand what's important in, in their life and also to how they're going to move forward in their lives and so he was just saying like hey you know maybe this is going to unlock you know a lot of their not only brain power just unlock a lot of their creativity and things that they want to do in life and in perspective you know put things to a to a point that hey you know this is what i want to do this is what i accomplished so far that's all i have but you know, I just want to, I know I can do more. So basically, I think his whole whole uh, perspective was this. I just want to make sure our students unlock their potential, their full potential, you know, why they still pursuing their education and later in the future pursuing higher ed education. But uh, some of the students, um, you know, someone was actually upset and some of the students were interviewed by school officials. So this is how, you know, it was through word of mouth and how, you know, when he was, uh, when they find out that he instructed this assignment here. Now, I believe he's been teaching for like over like 15 years, but um, Dr. Phillips High School, and he's, uh, he doesn't regret it at all. He doesn't regret it at all. Um, I think he's too new of a hire in that school. So therefore he was unable to, you know, be involved with the teachers union, but in order to get reinstated with his job, he had to be uh, in coordination with the administrative, um, you know, personnel. So, but I mean, it's it's really interesting here. I mean, he actually kind of found out around April fourth that his 11th, 12th grade students they're gonna have to rehearse on what to do during the active shooter situation. So, cause I mean, you know, we we all heard about the situation that happened back in Covenant High School, uh, Covenant School, the private school in, in Nashville, Tennessee, the so-called transgender uh, end up killing six people, three of them including children. And, um, you know, we was thinking about this, too, like one of the solutions and one of my videos I talked about with the two Democrats in um, Tennessee representatives lost their jobs uh, because they was advocating, you know, with the gun rights, the gun protests and, and all this stuff. Right. So um, I think that if we can increase presence patrol, you know, in in particular um, in, in different schools and many school education and facilities or just allow teachers to be armed up in a way that it can be locked up in a safe. You have a code and it has to be, you know, completely controlled. I mean, obviously the teacher's not gonna be just walking around with a gun, you know, that's completely not safe, but uh, they can at least have like some pistols or maybe a rifle or things of that nature. Something that's like a good uh, defense, um, you know, just in case of like a, of a staff or faculty staff members get uh, at least have a fighting chance. And something like this happened, you know, it's instead of just waiting for law enforcement to get there, um, they can at least, you know, want to be much of a easier target so they can lock it up in a safe. And then if it's actually shooter come, they just press a button or, um, you know, alarm will go off or something like that along that nature. You know, they could probably have the technology for it. Uh, they can hurry up and go into the safe, open it and just utilize that gun. Now, I do believe that if the teachers want to get into that, you know, um, they involved in that situation they should at least be properly trained uh you know go to like some uh you know shooting ranges and i understand that they signed up to be educators instead of you know security or law enforcement but i mean this is the day and age that we live in you know more schools need to have more metal detectors things of that nature and uh in order to protect our youth so we always trying to come up we're trying to come up with solutions i know the democrats and republicans republicans still continuously want their guns they believe the belief that banning rifles or, or uh, guns in general is not going to solve anything and to an extent i agree you know i mean they're, that's what they call criminals they'll find ways to bend and and do things illegally and uh you know democrats are like hey we just need guns off the streets in general so we don't want to live in the communist type of country but we do need some type of solution uh for our youth seriously so but anyway um you guys tell me what you guys think you know do you think um the education facility the education department in orlando florida dr phillips high school i was a little too harsh on jeffrey king or do you think this was uh 
you know, uh, inappropriate by him for doing this. So I just want you guys to start on here. Just like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thank you for everyone for supporting this channel. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok at YoungLeanJr. Three ninety five. You guys take care. I'm out. Deuces.